On this week's episode, we talk about the unnamed prototype. What? What this voice? You know? <clears throat> it's my now. <clears throat> it's my announcement <laughs> okay. voice. I'm doing a little bit of a pre-intro fun, and bringing some quality voice. editing and fun to the channel again, just so people know this is high quality stuff. I think this adds quality, right, everybody? <clears throat> this voice. Yeah, I think I think the voice, I think the voice adds a little bit of fun. Just showing the quality, man. We can't do boring videos right. every day um, or every week. I'm just you do you. You know, I'm just gonna do important stuff over there. Important yeah. stuff. Quality. I, I just you just took the controller. I know what you're gonna you. I you. He's. Ha! He's just gonna play PlayStation while I do all the work. He has no... He doesn't feel the company. He doesn't... He hasn't been around for months, I think. A lot of you haven't even seen this clone of mine. The business guy, the artistic guy, this... On this week's episode... Now I sound like a crappy old Batman. Intro! Hey, I'm Pascal from Orange Pixel and welcome to another video. Um, I have so many game and projects going on right now, it's hard to pick one. So uh, for this video, I want to talk about our unnamed prototype. Besides Regular City, and I'll get to that game probably next week again, um, I've been working on a different game together with Nathan or Haragoshi on the Discord. Drop on the Discord, please come hang out, say hi. We're all very friendly. Um, We've been working on a prototype that still has no name. So we need name ideas. If you have a great idea for the game after watching the video, please let us know. We're open for everything, but uh, it has to be something that fits the game pretty much. That's kind of the point of giving your game a name. Right, so the original concept for this game was pretty simple. I think I sketched it on a piece of paper and it was uh, designed to be very simple to build, very small in scope, because um, I always say, if you're gonna create a game, try to not do a bunch of new things you have no experience with. And since this is our first cooperation, we have no experience with that. And that's gonna be the biggest thing for us, uh, finding a workflow, finding how to cooperate together and uh, how it all works and goes and all that stuff. So we're not gonna try to create the biggest game ever, just a very cool, interesting little game. And of course we start very little, but it probably already changes a little bit over time and becomes slightly bigger than we want it to be. But we started with this little idea. Let me see, I should be able to show you a sketch. I think I still have it over here somewhere. Yeah, design sketch, I'll show this on screen. This was pretty much, um, my original design, very simple. You have a shrine in the middle. Um, that shrine needs um, ooze or something, something you're gonna collect. You collect it by killing enemies. Um, and then you pretty much um, power the shrine and then you get to teleport out of there into the next area with another shrine. The key thing here or the change here is, first of all, there's no health. You only regain your health if you go through the portal. Um, but if you go through the portal, every shrine has a effect on your weapon. So you have no idea what you're gonna end up with in the next level. It might be very slow bullets. It might be an extremely powerful weapon, which is of course good, but it might have some negative things that are not so good. Um, go through the portal. Um, your decision is gonna be uh, stay in the current level as your health decreases because enemies are coming in from all the areas and you can't refuel your energy unless you go through the portal. But then you might lose that awesome weapon you have in your hands. As I say this, uh, the idea is pretty solid, pretty good like, concept, a pretty good concept. But we're already straying a little bit away from that original one. Right now we have multiple pillars that need to be activated. Um, and the weapon, the bullets, and um, it's an interesting thing, but it doesn't fully work just yet. I, I don't like how it works currently. So we're gonna tweak it a little bit more, change it a little bit more. Um, so we're already changing the scope slightly. But the original idea still stands. It's a great concept and uh, 
it's not Vampire Survivors. I wasn't even aware of that game when I first thought of this. It's more based on my own Groundskeeper 2 game. But it does have some similarities with such game. And people already said that to this prototype. I think there's no escaping. If you're creating an action game with a bunch of enemies coming at you, everybody is gonna compare it to the game that was the biggest game recently that does that. Right now it's Vampire Survivors. It's not the first game that did it. There have been other games as well but they weren't that famous or that well known. So that's pretty much how things go in the world of game development. Yeah. So we're keeping the game scope pretty small, as I just mentioned, because it's the first time we're collaborating um, this much on a project. Um, he has done some art for Regulated City, the, the artwork I used to market and promote the game. He also did some uh, tile sets and graphics for residual. So we have been doing stuff together, but now we're creating a whole game together. Uh, it's just finding out uh, what works between us, uh, how is his workflow, how is mine, and somewhere in the middle we have to work something out that works for both of us. And pretty much he does all the graphics and the artwork and all that stuff. It's high resolution, which is different for me, so I have to do a bunch of different things in my workflow already. Um, and it's also weird because usually I come up with an idea, I draw it, I implement it. Now I come up with an idea, he has to draw it, I have to wait for that and then implement it. I'm not really a developer that likes to use uh, white boxes or gray boxes or rectangles. I just like to use the art that's gonna be there. I guess I'm that very, just, I'm just very visual in everything and I need to see what's gonna be happening and how it's gonna look and how it's actually final product's gonna be. So um, it's, it's a little bit of figuring out how to do it in the best way. But so far I think we're managing pretty well and we're slowly improving things in how the workflow works. And now he uploads his images, all the new stuff to the root folder of our shared thingy. And then when I have used it or implemented it, I move it to the right folder so that we can update and change it over time. But it's a better workflow and then I implement it and we build it out and then we check out if it actually works the way we wanted it. And he does all the visual design choices. So if he doesn't like something, or doesn't like the animation, whatever, he'll let me know and I'll have to fix it. Um, I will eventually, it's on my to-do list. Whatever you're about to say, Nathan, it's on my to-do list. I know, and, and the walk animation and things, and it's all there. It's, I know about it, just haven't got around to it. Um, that's how we work together. And gameplay-wise, it's just, um, well, we both come up with ideas and it's um, interesting to be able to feed off each other. I usually don't have that with my own games, but now uh, he comes up with an idea, I'll run with it and maybe change a little bit and then he'll change a little bit and over time we have new ideas. And uh, I think that's very interesting and I haven't done that a lot with teams and other people. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm, very, I'm very happy with that. So that's why I'm now also looking for more collaborations here and there already because I think it adds a lot and you don't have to do everything yourself. Of course, I like doing a lot of things myself, but every now and then, especially on ideas, it's good to have somebody else there to pitch in ideas and to change ideas and to feed off you and you feed off him. And that sounds very nasty already. All right. Nobody's feeding, nobody's munching and... Ugh. No, 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 not in that way. Moving on, we're doing development streams on uh, the Orange Pixel Discord. Every now and then it's pretty much random. Uh, if we feel like it, if he's in the mood, he will do some art stuff and then stream it. If I'm in the mood and implementing interesting stuff or usually the stuff he has just drawn, I'll be implementing it into the game. I might stream it. There's a stream channel in the Discord server. Uh, we're the only two who can stream to it right now, for now, who knows, might change eventually. But uh, yeah, if you wanna watch some of this stuff, uh, come hang out. It's pretty much random. There's no schedule on streaming. Um, I don't like to stream programming or a lot of code. I only like to stream visual stuff because that's less boring to see for most people. Um, every now and then, and we had some good streams with like 10, 11 people watching who are already in the Discord. So uh, come hang out. It's, it's just a lot of fun. So um, that's the prototype. It still has no name. Um, now you know a little bit about the game, the idea and the concept behind it. And we have this hub guy that you collect the ooze for, you give it to him, then you upgrade your items, um, or you get items from it, or in trade of it, and you're then gonna go back in, teleport into the next area, activate the pillars, collect ooze, 
and somewhere in that mix should be a name. A game name preferably explains the game so that people reading the name will know what the game is about. So we had a good name like Ooze Corporation and that's a good name, but it doesn't really say anything about the game. Um, it could still work because you can also just have a description of the environment or the world, but um, preferably it's a name that just clearly says what you're doing. We had Ooze Mining that, or Ooze Miners or Ooze Collectors, things like that. Um, we're just pitching a lot of ideas and we're just doing it all out in the open on the Discord. So if you wanna pitch in and wanna join the party, come hang out. And uh, that's the prototype that we're working on. And that's my prototype. So I have like three games in development right now. Regulate City, my main project, Heroes of Loot 3 or whatever it's gonna be. And then uh, this one. It's, it's a lot of fun times. Next week, I'll probably talk about Regulate City again. It's been a while and a lot of has, a lot of things have changed and a lot of new improvements and additions and maybe I'll have some interesting news about it. Not sure if I can share that already next week. We'll see. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment below, all that cool stuff. And also, thanks for everybody who left comments and mailed me and DM'd me about the video a few weeks ago. I haven't replied to a lot of it because, well, it's all, uh, uh, thank you all. And that's pretty much it. So, uh, and thanks for watching this video. I'll see you next week. Bye. Three, two, one.